everybody and welcome. This video we're going to look at interior lighting. It's going to be the first of a series because it's a very complicated topic and there's lots of different setups that we can talk about. So we're going to start off basic and then work our way to more advanced in later videos. Before I get started I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody who subscribed. We're almost at 600 subscribers now which is absolutely crazy. Uh, if you haven't yet subscribed feel free to drop down give us a subscribe hit the notification icon if you want to stay updated give me a thumbs up let me know what you think in the comments below if there's any topics that you'd like me to cover that you think uh, I might be able to help you out with that's always good to know so let's jump right into this then so as you can see at the moment we have an empty room with no lights in it whatsoever now there are various options that we can do for example one of my first uh, instincts would be perhaps to go to the uh, HDRI and change that and get some light in through the window which at the moment we don't seem to be getting so if we perhaps crank that up to 10 we can see what's happening so there's something that this window isn't actually transparent so we would have to go into our surface tab select that surface and then as you can see it's not actually glass we'd have to change the opacity of that to get any light through the window which is gonna do a bit you'll get some light in through the window and it'll create a nice kind of softness but as you can see this is a very dark very noisy kind of render and it's going to be like that because there's not much light in the room so to speak so we're going to close down our render settings and we're going to jump into our camera mode and we're going to switch off the nvidia iro renderer for a start so i'm just going to turn off clicking just so that we can get a clear view of what's going on in this room so as you can see it's a completely empty room apart from the light fixture up there or rather the fan and a radiator and a couple of doors so the window in this situation would probably be the only light source so if we were looking for a photo realistic render then obviously you would just have to make do with the light coming in through there however if you're not really going to be looking at the ceiling the user the viewer isn't going to know that there are no light fixtures on the ceiling so what we can do is there's actually two options we can use we can either select our surface on the fan like so and we can go back into surfaces tab and where it says fan metal we can come into this setting the emission and we can actually change that and we can turn it into an emissive surface so we turn that to white switch this to KCDMR2 and then let's rotate our camera back down and jump into NVIDIA IRO mode and see what happens. So now as you can see the room has now got lighting in it. In fact if we were to remove the uh, light coming in from the window we'd still have a very dimly lit room and we can obviously crank this up so if we were to say 5000 there you go you've actually got a room that's not terribly lit we can look around it as you can see though it does create that weird effect so if you were to do any low angle shots where you could see the ceiling you'd obviously spot that from a mile off which is not ideal but for the purposes of lighting the room for basic shots that would suit its purpose but there's another option so what we're going to do we're going to whack that back down to zero so that it's no longer emitting and we're going to create a new object so we're going to create a plane by clicking on this icon at the top that looks like three shapes smushed together and we're going to create a plane and i'm going to guess this room's probably in the region of about four meters but we'll make it five one division we're not going to be doing any um simulation with this surface so we can just pop that in there select our surface and before we do anything else we're going to jump out of nvidia ira mode and we're going to reset our camera so that we can actually see where that plane is so it's actually right where we need it to be we just couldn't see the widget so we 
we're going to just move our camera back into a sensible enough position and we're going to drag this all the way up we can use our parameters tab as well just to increase the value until it disappears through the ceiling like there so we bring it back down again and we're going to increase the scale so that it fills up the whole ceiling so now we've got it really close to the ceiling in fact if we were to head up we could probably tweak that a little bit more just to make sure it's absolutely spot on there we go so now it's within you know millimeters of the ceiling and we're going to select the surfaces tab for our plane and we're going to create a ghost light so we're going to give it some emissive properties like so we're going to switch this to kcdmr2 and we're going to put that one to 5000 as well and then we're going to go back to our general tab we're going to select the opacity and we're going to drop that to 0 0.0001 so that it's now invisible in the scene now when we come back into nvidia iray mode as you can see it's incredibly bright so we can drop that down we we'll call that we'll go back down to like 2500 half as bright maybe we'll go even lower we'll go back to 1500 which is the default so as you can see now we've got so much light in the room that actually the light coming through the window is having more or less no effect so we can actually select that we can come back to our opacity and we can crank that back up to a one and there you go so now the windows opacity is no longer zero so if we come into our camera mode we can rotate around and the beauty of this method is that it doesn't create this glowing light effect the ceiling is there uh, so you wouldn't know the ghost light was there so although you can't see a light source so you you know the the person looking at the picture isn't necessarily going to be querying where the light comes from they, you know this isn't glowing so they're not going to be well clearly that's the light source but it shouldn't be because that whole thing wouldn't be glowing but the, you know they're not going to be questioning it as much so that gives us a much more realistic lighting effect and this is really good for very basic very basic scenes if you have a couple of characters in here and you don't necessarily want really complicated lighting settings you just want to be able to get kind of photo realistic renders with very basic settings and you know, it's not going to take forever to render and it's not going to use up all your CPU power to do the calculations. So that was the most basic one. I'm going to do more advanced ones in later videos. Each one will get a little bit more complicated. But for now, I hope you enjoyed that video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much. Bye bye.